Headline Study Station, City leaders work to open three and then kill the streets on the progress of site clearance for the National Highway 91 upgrade and inspection. The meeting on the progress of proposed in the Mekondel to climate change resilience and integrated transformation project using loans from the World Bank. City students who start the new school year is only two weeks ahead of September 5th. Hello, it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News. Today, late on August 13th afternoon, Secretary of Kansas City Party Committee Nguyễn Phan Hughes, then invited Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Yung Tấn Hiển, came to work with Bình Thủy and Ninh Kiều District on the progress of site clearance for the National Highway 91 upgrade and expansion project, stationed from kilometer 0 to kilometer 7. The project is a total plant land area of more than 27 hectares, in which it is necessary to clear nearly 7 hectares of land, 1,672 hectares in Ninh Kiều, 5,317 hectares in Bình Thủy, about 1,110 cases, and 71 organizations are affected by the project, 290 cases and 9 organizations in Ninh Kiều, and 220 cases and 62 organizations in Bình Thủy District. The total cost of site clearance is 5 trillion 556 billion Việt Nam Dong, excluding unpaid funds for 109 cases for which there has been an approved decision. The need for resentment is about 300 plots, ID in Ninh Kiều and 220 in Bình Thủy. Serving the project session from kilometer 0 to kilometer 7, Bình Thủy District is implementing Long Hoa Resentment Area Project Area Number 2 with a total area of more than 10 headers expected to be revoked. The district determines that in December 2024, there will be enough ground area to start the resentment project. Secretary Nguyễn Phan Hiếu requested that by mid-2025, the payment of compensation for the approved cases of the National Highway 91 upgrade and inspection progress session from kilometer 0 to kilometer 7 must be completed. On August 13th afternoon, Secretary of Kansas City Party Committee Nguyễn Phan Hiếu and Stand and Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Yung Tấn Hiển also had a meeting with related units on the progress of the implementation of the v Kansas Industrial Park project. Up to now, the city has organized payments for 565 out of 602, with a total amount equivalent to 1 trillion 122 billion Vietnamese stone, reaching 93.8 percent. The remaining 37 cases have not received land revocation payment. The city also organized six few side handovers to investors, with an area of 254 hectares. Regarding the project of the road connecting from National Highway 80 to the industrial park, the contractor is constructing the steel and concrete switches across the road and sand on the roadbed. Progress reached 57% of the contract. It is expected that by November 2024, the project will be handed over and put into use. The road project from Van Gogh Bridge to the industrial park has reached about 5% of the construction progress compared to the contract currently entangled with the site clearance. For the resettlement area, land recovery has reached 100%. Compensation and support have been paid for 40 out of 41 cases, amounting to about 101 billion dong. Secretary Nguyễn Phan Hiu directed relevant parties to focus on their efforts to put the industrial park into operation soon, especially construction units must develop feasible construction solutions for round number two, before the Lunar New Year 2025, the Departments of Transport and Construction sent professional staff to support Vinh Thanh District to review technical factors, continue to mobilize households to hand over the site. Regarding the support for resettlement arrangement, it is necessary to continue to persuade households to agree with the city to promote the complete construction of VSIP Gunta Industrial Park. Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development Nguyễn Hoàng Hiệp on August 13, chaired a meeting with Ministry Central Agencies and 10 Mekong Enterprises on the progress of proposing the Mekong Delta Climate Change Resilience and Integrated Transformation Project using loans from the World Bank. 
representatives of the Central Management Board for Irrigation Projects (CPO) said that the project using war bank loans is implemented in ten provinces in the Mekong Delta, including Đồng Tháp, Tiền Giang, Bến Tre, Kiên Giang, Bạc Liêu, Hậu Giang, Sóc Trăng, Trà Vinh, Cà Mau, and An Giang. The total investment capital of the project is 17,759 billion Vietnamese dong, including loans of 13,092 billion dong, reciprocal capital of 4,288 billion dong, and eight capital of 379 billion dong. Among them, the share of the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development is 6,579 billion dong, and 10 provinces in the Mekong Delta is 11,180 billion dong. The project will focus on implementing construction and non-construction solutions to solve problems, improve and develop key commodity chains, and increase income for people, while transforming the development model from scattered and small to centralized, developing cluster of agricultural economic centers associated with urbanizations, industrialization, and tourism areas. On August 14th, the command of military zone 9 organized the emulation congress of the armed forces of the military zone in the period of 2019-2024. In this period, emulation movement in the armed forces of military zone 9 was implemented comprehensively and synchronously. Many tasks were well and excellently completed, leaving many outstanding marks in the fields of work. Thereby, there have been many typical emulation models such as military people's friendship market, standing militia participates in protecting the sovereignty of the sea and islands. The armed forces of military zone and the whole country work together, unanimously fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, especially the model of that the people and soldiers has been replicated in 12 out of 12 provinces and cities with a total mobilization budget of 2 trillion 100 98 billion Vietnam dong. With the achievements recorded in the past five years, the armed forces of military zone 9 have had 14,000 collectives and individuals commanded and rewarded by the state, the government, and the Ministry of National Defense. On an August 14th morning, the Student Committee of the 4th Congress of Ethnic Minorities of Kento City in 2024 held a meeting to prepare for the Congress. The Congress is scheduled to take place on August 28, 2024 at the Horn of Kansas City Party Committee with the attendance of 237 official delegates. Its reported preparations for the Congress have been basically completed on schedule, and the meeting delegates agreed on the content of the preparation. The program script delegates also proposed to classify the group of guest lists accordingly, continue to complete the presentations, arrange musical performances. Delivering guidance at the meeting by Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Winter King, also head of the student committee proposed that the student committee continue to study propaganda slogans, program scripts, cultural programs designed appropriately, focusing on environmental landscape developing plans to ensure security and order during the Congress. The health sector pay attention to health issues of delegates attending the Congress. The inspection team of the Department of Industry and Trade of Kanto City he just had a working session with Gado District on the State Management of Industry and Trade in the first six months of 2024. In the first half of the year, Gado District well performed the state management in the field of industry and trade. The whole district currently has over 620 industrial and handicrafts production establishment. The value of industrial production in the first seven months of the year was estimated at over 2,670 billion Vietnamese stone, reaching more than 62% of the plan. Markets are arranged to buy and sell staply. The total retail sales of goods and services are over 3,140 billion dong, reaching 68% of the plan. The electricity industry has invested in upgrading, renovating, repairing and building new ones to gradually improve the quantity and quality of power sources. God Industry proposed to the Department of Industry and Trade to accelerate the progress of the rural power supply project from the national grid of Gunther City in the period of 2018-2020 funded by the EU to introduce prestigious inventors to upgrade and prepare traditional markets in the area. 
after the Ministry of Education and Training announced the plan for the 2024-2025 school year, the chairman of Kanto City People's Committee, Asaj Kanto Education Center, to set up the new school year plan according to the type plan framework of the Ministry of Education and Planning. Accordingly, grade 1 students in Gontho will return to school as early as two weeks before the opening date. The opening of school will be held on September 5, 2024. The first semester will be ended before January 18, 2025. The school year will be ended before May 31, 2025. The high school graduation exam in 2025 is scheduled to take place on June 26 and 27, 2025. If they did with a forecast, don't sort of update this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, controltv.vn. And thanks for being with us. Goodbye, and see you next time.